Welcome back to Science Click. Today, Newton's gravity. Why does an apple fall from a tree towards the ground? And why does the moon orbit around the Earth? In the 17th century, mathematician and physicist Isaac Newton answers these two questions with a single answer: gravitation. What is gravitation? In the universe, all objects that possess a mass attract each other. For example, the moon attracts the earth, and the earth attracts the moon. Now let us imagine a first object A and a second object B separated by a certain distance. Because of gravitation, these two objects attract each other. In this way, A will get closer to B, and B will get closer to A. If A was more massive, then the gravitational pull would be stronger. Inversely, if A was less massive, then the gravitational pull would be weaker. This is equally true for B. Following on, if the two objects were more distant, the gravitational pull would be weaker. And if they were close, the gravitational pull would be stronger. As such, the gravitational pull of one object on another goes away when the two objects are very far apart. Let's now take the example of an apple. The apple possesses a certain mass, and so does the Earth. So, the apple attracts the Earth, and inversely, the Earth attracts the apple. This is why the apple and the Earth will get closer one to the other, up until the apple touches the ground. Now, let's imagine that we throw the apple in a direction with a certain speed. Like before, the apple will be attracted to the Earth. But it will also move in the direction in which it was thrown, depending on its speed. The faster the apple is thrown, the further the apple falls. Now, if we could throw the apple with a high enough speed, we would see that this velocity would counter the gravitational pull, and that the apple would never fall down on the ground. This is what happens with the moon, and that is why the moon orbits around the Earth, as well as why the Earth. Orbits around the sun.